Chloe? That female figure at the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! Just just go along with them, Laura. Do it, do whatever they say. Dai me a pistolet. What's up? Who are you people? What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! I said, silence, girl. A divet, Haroshinka, yada, Napominayash Mayu Siestu. Let go! Let go! Laura, run! No! No! Run them up! Run them up! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! Hey, bring Don't up the make prisoner! Yourself. Yeah, I'm on it! Anything? No one escapes. Out! Villager! Not trust my old Remia! I always <laughs> Она тоже была порадочной стерва. Oh, my God.
Another tanker? Nah. Looks like some kind of research show. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. We got a crew towing it in there. What the hell? What's going on down there? Everything okay? Killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. 
You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try.
when we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Transmitter from the lifeboat, in it. We don't get that back. We're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you need, you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. No. Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Do 
did someone want these to be found?
Let's get you patched up. lady like you learned to do a thing like that. <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's happened my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura. to go on the rock wall over there first. Thank God for our straining. All those tracks, all those climbs. It's as if you've been preparing me for something like this all along. It's clear that there are people living here. And they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. Why? It's like some kind of cult. What do they want? What are they looking for? I can climb this. Get up this far. Should we head back up to the bunker? 
Nah, let's wait out the storm. Got it! Stay alert. Let's move inside. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the Queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined.
telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah, she's cute, <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old and smarter than you'll ever be. She must, must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And, yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. Hi, right, be right with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me. Looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right, can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. OK, now take a firm grip and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got it. Good Lord, cut, cut, cut! Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. World-renowned archaeologist. I discovered... The world-renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. I don't James cut Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just They're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, Lara, pull yourself together. They're counting on you.
that damn gun off me! Better or worse, I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison.
Expedition Field Report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain.
Father Matthias will set us free. From what? This island? a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. 